Hello there, Felipe here from CajonMaster.com and I hope everybody is doing well. Today I'm reviewing a Cajon for my favorite line of Cajons. It's the Minor Artisan Tango Line Cajon. And the model I'm testing today is the Limba. The Minor Artisan Cajon is a professional series of Cajons made in Spain by the famous Cajon manufacturer Pepote Percussion. Pepote is a cajon maker focused mainly in flamenco cajons, those ones that come with strings in the inside. And it's important to say that all the cajons are 100% handmade, and of course, because of that, the price is a bit higher than other types of cajons. However, the Tango line is the most affordable of artisan cajons, and I'm very excited to test and review this one for you. So, let's go first to the minor percussion website and see the specifications. This cajon features two sets of three pre-tuned strings, rounded corners and thumb notches for optimal playing comfort and sound. This is one of the signatures of the minor artisan cajons, the little curves on the top of the front plate. Specially formulated soft rubber feet. They are transparent to rubber feet, good to not leave marks on the floor. Ergonomically rounded front plate with convex contact. This means that the front plate or tapa is rounded towards the inside of the cajon. And the convex contact is something common in the artisan cajons. It's a layer of teardrops to have more texture when you play. The size of this cajon is 19 inches by 11.25 by 11.75 inches. This cajon costs $199 in the US and 199 euros in Europe. If after watching this video you decide to buy it, you can use the link I've put in the description below. Let's see how it sounds. I'm recording the sound of this cajon with two microphones, the ones I normally use here in the studio. First one is the AKG C3000 in the front and the Shure Beta 52 in the back. Now I'm going to play with a backing track for you to listen how it sounds in a musical context.
starting with the snare sound, it's amazing how sensitive it is. And this Mac sound, it's great. Also, when I play the ghost notes, I could listen perfect and clear all the notes. I think the two sets of strings do the job very well. And actually, they came perfect in tune. The bass sound is pretty nice, easy to adjust in the mix, without a lot of string sound. It's normal to have a bit of string sound in a flamenco cajon because the strings are placed all along the tapa, the front plate of the cajon. Sometimes some flamenco cajons have too much that buzz sound all over the place. That can be too much. But this one is very well balanced. I think the construction of the artisan cajons is pretty similar, even in the most affordable model, like this one. The design is great, and the layer of limbo wood looks very nice. It's difficult to point out what would be better, because I think for this price, $199, you can have a professional sounding cajon. I recommend this cajon for every cajon player that wants to do an upgrade, and also for those ones that are looking to buy a great first cajon. If you like this cajon and want to buy it, you can use the link in the description below. Please leave your comment below with your opinions about this cajon and other cajons. If you want to learn how to play the cajon, I'm offering a free starter course, link in the description below. I would like to thank all the support here and also on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for all the comments, all the suggestions. Very nice, thank you very much. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.